the Asian dollar keeps in their Asian Asians. I'm sorry. Asians keep a dollar in their not dollars, a dollar in their community 120 times longer than African-Americans. Which is about 28 days. So a dollar, one dollar that's in their pocket stays in their community for 28 days. Almost so a month. For a whole month, that dollar circulates into all their businesses. Right. Before it exits. Into another community. Into the general population. Right. Jewish communities circulate their dollars for approximately 20 days and white communities for approximately 17 days. And we have six hours. Hey, everybody, this is Garrett and Sita with Idea to Invention, a podcast for inventors and small businesses. Yes, this is us. This is us. Not the TV show. No, no, no. We don't have that kind of drama. <laughs> what TV show? This is us. Oh, that. No, no we don't have that. That's, 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 that's a good you show. Say what TV, right? Because that's what. You, but that's I, what I haven't watched it though in a while. But I'm, I'm kind of glad because I got tired of coming down to the living room and you shedding that one tear and sniffing because that's the, you got you got to be emotionally prepared to watch that show every night yes you do yeah. that's why i was like no i got enough going on i don't need to cry in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are it is february yay and february means it B-H-M. is jim Black History Month. month yes. Month, 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 Even month. though we celebrate it all year round, 365, because we're always black. Mm-hmm. And we're always <laughs> making history. <laughs> so <laughs> that's good. But we usually at um, Puff Cuff headquarters, we decide to do something special every year when it comes to Black History Month. And that will be what? Not will be. Or is. It is. What is well, it? Well, first, in years past, okay. we did, we've always done, usually, mm-hmm. we, po- we post one minority inventor a day for the whole month of February. That's what we did for like two or three years straight. Yep, yep, yep. And I would always do the research and it just blow my mind. I'm like, everything that we use can be tied back. They didn't teach you none of that in school. No, they didn't. It was beyond George Washington Carver. There was more than one. More than the peanut. And the, (laughs) (laughs) no, the cotton gin. Oh. That's the only one that I remember. But, you know, they slid the peanut thing in there, but it was the cotton gin. Wasn't it? No, that's Eli Whitney. I'm See? lying. See, like, you about to tell me I'm wrong. Cotton, but you ain't know who I looked in your eyes and you didn't know who it was either. That's why I said, <laughs> George, I said I'm the one that told you it was a peanut. Right, George, but it was he discovered more than the peanut. Exactly. That was the whole point. What else did he discover? No, but, okay, listen. I thought he did we gonna ask the Google. Well you continued what you said. But saying. anyway, so we did one inventor a day. Yes. And I discovered so much. Mm-hmm. But then I got to the point where I was running out of inventors <laughs> to introduce new every year. Yep. <clears throat> so then we did, I think last year we did, I think we just focused on the brand Puff Cuff and our different um, accomplishments for Black History Month. But then this year I had one of those epiphanies like I usually do in the shower. Ding, ding, ding. The mm-hmm. shower is a great place to think and come up with ideas you just need to be and waste to- water. <laughs> you just need to be able to document what you be. I do. I take my. Uh, I take a, a note from Grayson's book, and I write in the steam on the glass. So what happens when it goes away? Hey, <laughs> I just do the best I can. Cool. I don't want to have electronics in the shower. So <clears throat> this year we decided to do. Oh, I know what it was because we went to Essence Marketplace. We were in Essence Marketplace mm-hmm. in December, and we met a whole lot of like amazing Black-owned businesses and yep. brands because we were like, we didn't know Black people did this. We didn't know Black people did that. We got sheets. Did y'all know that there is bamboo? Bamboo. 
Boo. It's Bam Blue. Okay. B A M B L O O. That's the name of the company. Yeah. But Bam would- Blue makes Bam Boo sheets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See how we did that? <laughs> Bamboo sheets and PJs, and they are absolutely amazing. They're comfortable. And they breathe. And you know, after a certain age, you sweat at night. Hot! But these sheets don't make you sweat. So if you got on the PJs and the sheets, it's amazing. (laughs) It's it's like like an own personal air conditioner. (laughs) So with that, we decided we're going to feature one black business a day. Mm-hmm. And offer a challenge. So the challenge is, we called it the Puff Cuff. What did we call it officially? Uh, it is the Puff Cuff $100 challenge. Take our $100 challenge, our $100, no, take our $100 Black History Month challenge. So do you know what the challenge is, Mr. Lash? The challenge is if you can uh, spend but it's not a dollar. Okay. Let me repeat the name of the... the, the right, but it's not that if you can spend $100 for, it each, is. for each black business? No. But that's what, that's what I was trying to say. So it's $100 for the whole month? No. Okay. So why would you ask if, if I wasn't going to be right? Because I was hoping you would. I, had, I was trying to keep the faith. Well... Do you want me to tell you what? Your faith has been broken, <laughs> so you need to tell me. Somebody's not been paying attention to the emails. Are you on our email list? Have you subscribed? <laughs> that might be a good idea to put me on your email no, list. No, you have to su- subscribe. Then you get 10% off your purchase. All right. So go ahead and do it now. All right. <laughs> you are on camera. Go ahead and Will do it now. Finish? <laughs> <laughs> so the Black History, Puff Cuff Black History Month challenge is within one hour, we challenge you to take $100 of your hard earned cash and put it back into the black community. And it says, let's change the the, statistics. That's a word I just can't say. Can you say it for me? Let's change the statistic. You just said it. (laughs) Way to go, girl. Way to go. Thank you. But don't ask me to say it again. (laughs) But so, and this came, comes from how long the, um, in different communities, their dollars stay within the community a certain amount of time. But the, the disparaging fact, can okay. I use that vocabulary word right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is the fact that African Americans or people of color spend the most money in retail, but their dollars are not sewn back into the black community. And what that means is there, in other words, there's one of two things. Either you don't, either you're not aware of where you can spend the money. Yeah. Or majority of the establishments where establishments where you shop for your everyday life are not owned by black people. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's really something that you have to put in your mind to make it be purposeful and be not purposeful be um is that right be intentional intentional there you go see look at you that's what i do team effort um be intentional about where you spend your money so and it came also because i had put out a post a blog a while ago and i was saying that i mean in the blog it was like okay the black dollar does not stay within the community i think within six hours it will leave the community Mm -hmm. and i had so many people challenge me on that on that that fact and i was like well first of all i ain't make it up i actually went and got the information (laughs) i researched it somebody else you know put this in 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 um put this out there and put the statistic out there but then i was like okay take a personal challenge we're not even going to say spend a hundred dollars let's say you want to just spend twenty dollars in the next hour and you say, okay, I'm going to spend $20 in the next hour. I want to buy lunch with this $20. Where along, what street is this? Alpharetta. Alpharetta Highway. Thank you. Alpharetta Highway. Where can you go 
before lunch, put your down twenty dollars down, and it go back into a black community to buy a, a, a restaurant that's owned by black people. I think it's that barbecue spot. Are you sure? Got his black face out front, but does is the man who owns it. And how far down we got to go down the street <laughs> to get to that barbecue spot? Oh, I mean, it's, a, it's a drive, but I think. But see, my, my point is, how many other opportunities do you have to buy $20 worth of your lunch that would yeah. not go into your community? Yeah. Deep, huh? That's deep. So, hence we're going to give a couple of little bit more more facts about how to search, how different can eth- um I always get finished. I get um, confused whether you say ethnicity, cultures, or whatever. But different communities, how their dollar recirculates back into their community, and how long it stays in their community before it goes out. Sounds good. Okay, so let us you know, transition. <laughs> Sounds <somewhere>. good. <laughs> we will talk to you all about that when we come back. See ya. Everybody again in podcast land. This is Sita and Garrett from Idea to Invention and a podcast for inventors and small businesses. And here we are talking about how we um, did the Puff Cuff Hundred Dollar Challenge for Black History Month. So we're hoping that you all will find it and, and participate. participate and share and reshare and share and share and share. Um, to help in the statistic of how, or help to begin to end the statistic of how fast the black dollar leaves the black community. So, we were just talking about um, if you decided to give yourself the challenge, and I had done this a little while ago because I had put that statistic that statistic out there in one of a blog in a blog post that I had meant, had written that um, the black dollar leaves the black community within, circulates and leaves the black community within six hours. And people are like, nah, that can't be true. And it's like, okay, that's fine. That's crazy. So what you need to do, just, just, do, just do a regular everyday challenge. Don't give yourself six hours. Just try to put, the, put your dollar back in, in one hour. Mm. That's what the community, that's what I, <clears throat> but I, I beefed it up to a hundred dollars but we were just giving the example of twenty dollars let's go to say you want to go to walmart and you got twenty dollars to spend so out of all the items in walmart let's say you just you know you need laundry soap <laughs> you need toothpaste <laughs> you need painkillers you need baby diapers and what's one more thing in a can of can of pop Formula? Or did you say Whatever. formula already? No, but I didn't say formula. I just just oh. doing different departments. Gotcha. Can you take that whole twenty dollars and spend it on products other than hair products? Spend it on products that are owned by a black community? Nope. So and that's that's large scale. That's large, you know, because these have to be established business businesses that have been in, you know, in order to be in Walmart. These are established brands. So it's even more difficult to sell your sell your money back into established brands like that because they're very far and few between. But the way to do it, the easiest way to do it is to start on the small business um, um, level. So if you start on the small business level, you could possibly be able to sew that hundred dollars back in within an hour so what we did was we decided to list at least one black business a day Mm -hmm. small black business to give you the opportunity to sew your um, hundred dollars back in within an hour for the 29 days of february so we even gave you an extra day not we but the calendar gave you an extra day yep so excuse me this has been out on our social network for 
the whole month we started we literally started on the first of february so it's our we put the challenge on facebook linkedin um the gram yep is is that it whitney Oh, it's on Twitter. It's so interesting because, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's a blog. There's also a blog post on the um, website. Mm -hmm. So, and our the, we have a link tree that links back to, on, on Instagram, that links back, back to the blog. Okay. So, and the blog lists, you know, gives the facts that we're getting ready to give now. And it also lists all 29 businesses that you can choose from. Ah. It's so interesting because people are reading the post, but no one is sharing the post. I have, I think on LinkedIn, go to LinkedIn. If we, no one on Instagram has reshared. <clears throat> are we asking them to share? Uh-huh. On LinkedIn, I even said, it's your duty to reshare. <laughs> um, so like on LinkedIn right now, we have, we, the, the post has been viewed 439 times and it only has two reshares. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I don't know. People are giving it thumbs up. I like what you're talking about. I ain't gonna Interesting, share it. but I'm not gonna. Re I'm not resharing this. And I'm like, hmm, is it because? You know, I got my own theories. <laughs> but I just think, is it? Did you just now reshare it? No, I did not reshare it. So why didn't you reshare it? Because I got to it yet. <laughs> Good lord, <laughs> it's on my post. But anyway. So let's get to the statistics, right? Is it right on your quick. post? Or? It's on Cita. It's on Cita Lash. It's on. It's in um, Instagram and everything. So the 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 post basically says we've decided to. Okay, this is me talking to Inst LinkedIn land. We've decided to initiate the Puff Cuff Hundred Dollar Black History Month Challenge. In the next hour, we encourage you to take a hundred dollars and put it back directly into the black community. Visit the puffcuff.com to spend your hundred dollars with us and save 20% off your entire purchase. So of course, you know, you want to be, you want to get the hundred dollars done right quick, go to the puffcuff.com and then you, you're done. You've met your challenge or you can check the, our blog and there's a link to our blog for a list of 29 bobs for your choosing to sell $100 back into the black community. Revolving wealth in the black community is possible. It can start right now with you. So, we have 29 businesses, but then here's the statistics. The statistics is what really makes it, like, drives it home. So, this is within, oh, yeah, it's also within our email blast. We put an email blast out about, too. So, it says, food for thought. How does the, how long does the black, do, does the dollar circulate in the black community? Mm -hmm. And the answer is? Six hours. Sad. Um. The African, what, what? I was going to say, went, went, went. Okay. African American buying power is at a one point, is at 1.5, how much? Trillion. Not million. Trillion. Not billion. Quatrillion. <laughs> 1.5 trillion dollars. And yet only two cents. <laughs> <clears throat> of every dollar an African American spends in this country goes to a black owned business. Okay, so let's say it again. <laughs> yeah, let, wrap your mind, like open the mind way up. So say, so read that, again. so you said the buying power is 1.5 trillion dollars. So that's how much we spend. Money power. He must how much we earn, <laughs> how much we spend. That's how much. That's the buying power. power. Yes, the African American community has, and not Africans, African Americans. And yet, we choose. We choose mm -hmm. to only spend two cents of every dollar. It's to sew it back into the black community, into our own community. Right. We can go on the fact of: Do we? Is there opportunity to sew it? Well, guess what? You got 29 days. 
and 29 businesses Mm -hmm. to sew it back into. So then the next thing was like black owned business, but then black owned businesses account for less than 7% of all small, all small owned businesses, even though we account for 13% of the population. But that's a whole nother conversation to why that number is where it is. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, that is a whole nother podcast, but it's it, it just you know gets a little worse and worse every time I right, go down this bullet list. And so now we're going to compare to other communities. The Asian dollar keeps in their Asian Asians, I'm sorry, Asians keep a dollar in their not dollars, a dollar in their community a hundred and twenty times longer than African Americans. Which is about twenty eight days. So a dollar, one dollar that's in their pocket stays in their community for twenty eight days. Almost so a month. For a whole month that dollar circulates into all their businesses. Right. Before it exits into another community. Into the general population. Right. Jewish communities circulate their dollars for approximately 20 days and white communities for approximately 17 days. And we have six hours. So that's why we decided to give the challenge to, hey, let's do a better job at this. Yeah. Okay. So with that, and to tell you the truth, this really comes from, I mean, another part of this comes from my dad. Because my dad was the only black accountant, not accountant, CPA, um, for a while that uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. I mean, not in all of St. Louis, Missouri. No, but, but yeah. one of the ones with the biggest clientele, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And everybody would come, Mr. Richard, Mr. Mr. Richard, Mr. Richard. And then I would see that dad would be very purposeful and intentional on where when he was in that environment like down at his office on Euclid in St. Louis Avenue, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, very intentional on where he bought his lunch, who was the janitorial service, yeah. who um, hmm. provided um, whatever services, like his coffee service, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't under any, the, the, the building that he rented in was black owned and, yep. I didn't get it at that time, oh, that yeah. the, the significance of it, you know, and then there was black pages. Remember the black? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't yellow pages. It was black pages. <laughs> Everything was in reversed out ink. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't listen to her, y'all. She, cra- she cracks herself up, which is the, the beauty of it all. <laughs> Can you imagine this whole book and everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only you. <laughs> But I just remember all that. But as as a kid, I couldn't, I didn't see the significance of it. I was like, why y'all got to have a separate book? I don't don't understand this. But then, you know, the more, the older you get, the eye, your eyes become wide, wide open. Mm -hmm. And then it's interesting because I was asking, um, um, I was having the same conversation with Luis, uh, of capture el memento i never can say it properly but he's our videographer and he uh, was renting a space um for his his studio mm-hmm. and it was like it's a big like indoor it looked like it used to be a shopping mall but they gutted it out and now it's like independent spaces and things and most of the community that's there that shops in that mall are all spanish speaking mm-hmm. <clears throat> And I was saying, I was thinking that it would be different for the, you know, Mex- Mexican or Hispanic community that, that, that they support themselves. And he was like, not so much. He was like, we don't necessarily circulate our dollars back into our hmm. community. But I never was able to, you know, statist- statistically find that information when I was doing my research. So it's just, it's just you going to try and find it? Yeah, I was I was looking while we were talking, and I didn't see anything that talked about the la- Latino community, the, the, the dollar, the Latino the dollar. dollar, how it it and it it's that yeah. would be a question mark of mine. That's that would be one thing I would want to know because 
to break down um, the large communities within the United States. That's one statistic that was missing. But anyway, I digress. So we're going back to the 29 businesses that we have listed. And I am actually extremely proud to say, like, hey, oh. we have supported all 29. Bow, bow, bow. Mm, 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 mm. So I, we's doing our part. <laughs> but now we Ebonics need you to do your part because there are some amazing businesses that um, – we're just like, did not know, did not know. And if we didn't know, we are assuming that you probably don't know what all, you know, the different businesses are out there that you can support. Um, um, if you're brown, you're not, not if you're not, if you're not brown, they'll love the support too. But if you're brown, the more purposely and more intentionally, so your your hundred dollars back into these businesses. So we're going to start by listing and talking about and giving you just a little snippet of what all these businesses do and who they are. And most of them are located in Atlanta. Yes. Is that not awesome? That's cool. Okay. All right. So after this break, we will come back and um, you'll get to find out where you can buy your lemonade, <laughs> where you can get your <laughs> sheets. Um, what else? Your hair accessories. Washing powder. Washing powder. Right. A whole bunch of stuff. All right. All right. So we'll be back in a few minutes with Eye to Eye. <laughs> What makes America? You. Me. Every freckle. Every career. Every smile. Every tear. Each family. Each friend. It builds and makes us who we are. One community. Every boy, every girl. Each kink, each curl. We wouldn't change a thing because this is who we are. It's our differences and our similarities, our passions, and our fears. These are the things that keep us. These are the things that make America. Us. Our curls make us. We are America. We make Tangle Master. Hey guys, this is Garrett and Sita coming back with you for Eye to Eye, a podcast for inventors and small businesses. And uh, in the last segment, we were discussing um, the uh, Puff Cuffs uh, Black History Month $100 challenge and, and how you have uh, 29 days to invest $100 back into the... Within one hour. Within one hour. Yes. Into... Uh, the African American com community uh, supporting a African American business, and um, the fact that currently a uh, dollar stays within our community for only six hours, in comparing comparison to the Asian community, which is what did we say, twenty eight days. days, and then the Jewish community was twenty days, twenty days, and then white community, white community seventeen days. seventeen days. And out of the hundred, hundred out of the one point five bill, one point five trillion dollars of spending power that the African American community has, only two cents of every dollar goes to support an African American business. That's just say it. Two cents, not ten, not fifty. Ninety-eight cents goes. <laughs> That's just rough hearing that. And putting your mind, you know, wrapping it's your mind wrap, around it. It's just like, wow. Around. But the thing that gets me is like. To spend our money. It, it's, it's like. It doesn't. Um, you could go all day and not even think about it. Like it, it doesn't phase us until you break it down like that. 
But still, I, I still, I don't think that even breaking it down like that, folk can conceptualize. Because it sounds so wrong that it's like, this right. can't be right. This, this it can't, can't be right. right. But when you sit down and do the, the experiment yourself. And really, and look at all your expenses. If you did, right. if, even if you took your expenses for a day. Mm-hmm. And say you spent a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever that day, mm-hmm. and said, "Where did you spend that money?" List all those places. Where did you get gas? It's, right. I mean, all those things that you did, and you spend money. It's really a quick analysis. Right. It's, it's not it's hard. Not, not hard. It's just kind. Of, it's just. It's just a little mind blowing that it seems that this is just that can't be true. And it's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it can be true. But the thing is, we have more options now than we know about. Yep. So we are we decided to, you know, let's put it out there for these and these the twenty nine businesses that we've chosen, it wasn't like, you know, um they were chosen because we've actually patronized them. Yes. And one um, hasn't been within the, I mean, some of them been within the last day or two. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so for instance, uh, if you go to our website, um, the puffcuff.com, and you click down in the footer, there is under About Us, there's the blog link, and it is, is it the, I think it's the second blog in. And the name of the blog is How You Can Change the Future of the Black Dollar Right Now. So you read through that whole blog, blog, we give the statistics and everything else. And we also, you know, mention that you can purchase with us because mm-hmm. we are a black owned business. And then you can sew into or you can sew in. You can spend more than a hundred dollars, too. Like you said, you can spend a thousand. You can pick yeah. 10 of these businesses to sew back into. So we have all the way from a um, natural hair salon in New York is the uh, coiled salon, black owned natural hair salon, cry but cryo botanicals yep. and that is um natural um owned by a husband and wife natural um hair products mm-hmm. we use them uh curl mix we've never used but i know kim and tim lewis i've used it oh whitney's used it yay ding, 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 ding. Multiple, times. multiple times yay I'm prepared to order. you said i'm prepared to order i'm on my third order on a third order amen awesome. that's what i'm talking about um, Minky Blue. Matter of fact, Garrett's gonna cut me off from going to her. <laughs> yeah, have a conversation with Minky Blue. Minky Blue taking up a whole bunch of money. <laughs> Minky Blue, which is she uh, she sells that's Miss um, Sherelle Mos- Mosey. She sells uh, designer handbags that she designs themselves herself, um, all the way from backpacks to tote bags for women that are in business basically. So you can have one great looking bag, even if you got a toddler and you're heading to the corporate meeting, you could take this bag and have all the toddler crap in it and your laptop and just, you know. I mean, I I'm, I will say though, I mean, her, her product is phenomenal, so. It is. That's yes. why he's like, can she come on out with that male black pa- backpack right. line? But anyway. When that male backpack comes. <laughs> right, he's like, on it. <laughs> don't say nothing about <laughs> We can't get that today. No, yeah, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say nothing because I know I've been clowning lately. <laughs> um, Posh Candle Company. Um, I forget what city she's out of, but she makes the most amazing soy candles. And if you go to her website, uh, oh, and we have the link to all of their websites, too. By yep. the way, we're not just giving you the name. You can go to their website and actually shop. So Posh Candle Company, um, the names of her candles will make you buy them just because of the name. <laughs> um, like, let me give you a couple uh, uh, examples of Posh Candle Company names. Let's go to her shop. Um, the first candle that comes up, allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, that's amazing. <laughs> Bad and bougie. Um, there's another one. Cozy under a blanket. Boss lady. Create hustle and repeat. <laughs> Black girl magic. Right. So I just want to buy it just so I can I won't I won't read the next one. <laughs> oh, I skipped that one. <laughs> just made a man cry. 
that's wrong. <laughs> so even if you even if you are just buying it as a, a not a gag gift, but a special gift for that girlfriend of yours. <laughs> that you know that when she opens it, it's just gonna, she's just going to cry hysterically in laughter because you just got her a candle that says just made a man cry. That's awesome. Kind of a homebody. That's me. So anyway, that's Posh Candle Co. Um, next business is Debots Turbans. Now, this woman, she's in Paris. That's the turban that I bought. When we were there in fr- uh, last year, yeah. uh oh, yeah, her link is uh oh, her her something must have happened to her Instagram page. Um, okay. we'll get that fixed. Uh, but anyway, she makes. Uh, I think we just featured her. Oh, that's why, because it's um. I'll fix it. Oh, her website is working. The link is, I got a bad link in there. But anyway, she makes African head wraps and they are amazing. If you want to feel like queen for a day, get one of her head wraps. For a day. For a day. Yes. And when you, and that's the thing. It's like when you wear her head wraps, one of her head wraps, like get ready for the attention and people are just going to start bowing when you walk through. (laughs) Because it's like, that chick is important. Have she co- got that. You're going to have her coming to America. <laughs> right. You just feel, you feel regal. And re- you just feel regal when you wear her one of her head wraps. Um, so I have to fix that link. Remind me to fix that link. Creative Soul Photography. Yeah, fix that Actually, it's, it's broke too? Oh, no. So don't go to the blog yet. <laughs> By the time well, this by, by airs, the time it airs we will fixed. have fixed it. So, but if you go to Creative Soul Photography, they are a husband and wife team that are like literally on my, they're photographers in, um, in Atlanta, but they travel all over the world, like literally travel all over the world. And what they do is they, sh- they photograph. Um, at first it was, I think it was more for young black girls to show themselves, um, like whatever you imagine yourself to be, they would do a photo shoot based on that little girl's dream and make her into that caricature or Mm -hmm. whatever. But um, we've been, it's like we always see each other at different places in the country. I mean, or not in the country than we do in Atlanta. But she's she's on my bucket list of, uh, I want to do a photo session with her. So actually... They just put, yeah, you don't know about this, but I'm just letting you know now. Um, yeah, surprise. <laughs> they did an open, uh, open, like, open session call to book because they're always, like, booked out. Like, the whole, like, you cannot get a session with them. Okay. So, our kids got a session. Woohoo! Yes, our kids got a session. So, on March 29th. I get to knock another thing off my bucket list that we are doing. Our three sons will be in a in a um, photo session with Creative Soul Photography. That's cool. I just can't wait. That's going to be cool. That's going to be really cool. So um, we'll fix that link. But they are, like I said, they're out of Atlanta. They do, um, they mostly do children's shots and they have two um, coffee table books that feature their photography. And they did the one coffee table book we have. um, It's when they shot all the different girls and boys in Africa. Yeah. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. But um, they do family photo shoots, too. But their photo shoots of their children. Really good. Very good. Um, next one is Nugent Steel Pan. So we have, actually, he's our neighbor. And two of our children will start taking steel pan lessons from him um, next in March, I believe. Mm-hmm. So the little one will start taking lessons with him in March. And then our old one of our older twins the, God, dog, at that page don't work. I this, think it's pointing to Instagram for some reason. Okay, and we not need their to websites. fix that. So anyway, um, Nugent Steel Pan, um, our oldest will be taking his, doing his senior project with Mister Nick yep. of Nugent Steel Pan, um, and we just featured them too. And then we have um, Positivity Alkaline Water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good water. Did you know that black people bottle water? <laughs> I was just like what 
didn't even know that was a process that, you know, because you automatically think Walmart brand, Dasani, Deer Pack. Deer pack right. You never think about, well, I'm going to bottle my own water. God gives it to for us for free, but I'm going to bottle it and charge you for it. That's the, You know how much money is made on bottled water? It's sick. Yeah. So we've been using bottle. We've been using um, positivity, positivity water. water ever since. We think we found out about them at Curl Fest, or was it RCIE? Mm-mm. Curl Fest. Curl Fest. No, no, it was RCIE, but they did have they did it at Curl, Curl, Fest. Curl Fest too. Yeah. So um, positivity alkaline water, and he's he's local, isn't he in Smyrna? Yep. And then we have twisted up comb. <laughs> so if you don't want if you want a more san- it's, the twisted up comb is a more sanitary version of the you can achieve the same look that you did with the sponge yep. which was actually invented by black people but they didn't get the patent and they were knocked off and then they kind of fell off which was very sad but twisted up is patented and you can achieve the same look in a more sanitary way yep um, Uncle Funky's daughter. Yay. Yes, all about Uncle Uncle Funky's daughter. You can find her. She makes a line of um, hair hair products also for yeah. the natural hair, and she's a staple under our sink. Yep, even under your sink. We need to reach out to her from our last conversation at Essence Fest. But either way, yeah, I digress. Yeah. So um, we have got. I think we're almost halfway through the list. Ooh, a little less than halfway. When we come back, we will rattle off the rest of them so you all can sew your $100 back into one because somebody needs some water. Somebody. Yep. Somebody needs some water. Somebody needs a candle. We just got finished talking to Sister Mills. She needs a new bag. Mama (laughs) needs a new bag. So <laughs> we will be right back with the rest of our bobs after this min after this break. So please don't leave us. This is Cedar and Garrett from Idea to Invention. Everybody, this is Garrett and Sita with From Idea to Invention, a podcast for inventors and small businesses. We are coming to you today to finish off a conversation about uh, the Puff Cuff Black History Month $100 Challenge. Cha-ching. And if you are up for it, you need I to I believe get all it y'all in. are up for it. I think so. Because I believe we've given Starbucks enough of our money <laughs> yeah. with nothing to show for it. Yeah, Starbucks, Amazon, all that good stuff. Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. Mm, especially, yeah, we're not going to go there. Okay, so we're going to running down, continue running down this list. We've got the Lip Bar, which they were on Shark Tank and did not get a deal. Now they are kicking behind in Target. Kicking butt. And I think she was a Spelman grad or something like that. I uh, don't know. But if you ever get tired of Fenty, Miss Miss Whitney, lip bar is where it's at. You just give me an excuse. <laughs> okay. Isaac's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna come home with a TV. <laughs> um, <laughs> you matter, University. Now this was with <laughs> actually one of our sons brought this to us. The one who claims he's woke. <laughs> you Matter University is Demetrius Harmon. So he makes um, sweatshirts that have different positive. Av- it's basically, all of them say you matter, right? Mm-hmm. But I got the You Matter University. And it feels so good because it's a champion sweatshirt. Yeah. But um, so you got him, the Village Market Atlanta with Dr. Um, Key. So she, um, awesome. if you all know about the Village Market, but Dr. Key is awesome, but she she's the brain behind 
the um, Village Market in Atlanta, which is a a spot where you can go. It's like an open air market, right? In in indoors and outdoors, where you can um, basically retail your goods and shoot. You could definitely go to Village Market and spend your hundred dollars back in the community real fast. Easily, I've done it. Um, slush f- infusions. Now, this is a, a husband and wife company. And they make different juices and juices, and some of them are CBD infused. And um, we had their we had their taste of their juices the first time at Essence Marketplace. Amazing! Yep. The cucumber lemonade, phenomenal, really good, like really, really, really super good. good. Like tell the children, this is mine. <laughs> Don't the, you can't have any of this. Yeah, we didn't get the CBD infused, but the regular cucumber um, melt. And then um, what's the name is one of their. Um, Angel investors or Who? partners. Jermaine. Thank you. Jermaine Dupree. Really? Yep. Show sure enough. Didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Healthy hmm. Roots doll. If you're tired of American doll, get you a Healthy Roots doll. <laughs> Representation. Yes. Yalista is, she's awesome. And she just announced yesterday she got invited to be in an incubator for Target. So I believe Zoe, which is her doll. Yep. Um, uh, will be on Target shelf soon. Yeah. But awesome. anyway, uh, Zoe, her doll, actually comes with a line of hair hair products, and it just teaches young girls, young brown girls, to be, you know, to love and appreciate the hair that God gave them, and then they could style them and, mm-hmm. you know, style her hair, wash her hair, and everything. So my, we gave um, our niece, Izzy, Isabel, um, Zoe, and right now Zoe's had her hair done so much she kind of looks like a crackhead. <laughs> She just combed almost all of Zoe's hair out. <laughs> she does, but Zoe's still trained. Zoe's still hanging in there. And um, Zoe, uh, Izzy just told me today that um, she got a separate bed. Her mommy bought Zoe a bed, so her bed is next to Isabel's bed. So An- Anissa's Secret, if you need all organic seasoning, mm-hmm. I've been using Anissa's Secret probably for as long as we've been here because we she started selling i met her at marietta farmer's market down in the square and i started buying her seasoning there so it's all organic and it's based i think it's based off her grandmother's recipes for seasonings Mm -hmm. so she has a whole bunch of seasoning blends and she has different extracts and she is located right in marietta also prideroad.com pride road soda the best hibiscus soda ever and they tell me because it only has 80 calories that it's amazing because it's supposed like I guess typical I'm not a soda drinker or pop right. drinker so I guess most pop and soda have way more than 80 calories oh yeah but um pride road it's bottled here in Atlanta sold in Atlanta um it's just we had that at S's marketplace too and I buy it by the case now and have it and then me and my younger son like I mean, they sell chutney and jelly. and Oh, yeah, we bought the chutney. I haven't used it yet, but it's in the cabinet. And I'm, I want the chutney because I'm going to put it over some chicken wings. Mm. Oh, Lord, it's only got two minutes, and we got got a few more. So we got Hairbrella, hairbrella.com, Tracy Pickett. Yay. So Hairbrella is the only, um, she invented a, a rain hat. Right. And um, it is amazing. So it, it eliminates the need of, you know, carrying around that bulky umbrella. So you just pull your umbrella out, put it on Good with a little clear visor. You're great. Um, custom uh, KB Custom Woodworks. He is. He's actually was on the show already. This is Chris Bailey. Yep. He. If you need a craftsman, you need some cabinets built. You need a hideaway safe. You need that's a kitchen the table. To go to. That's the brother to go to. Absolutely. Gabby Bows. People know about little things. A people lot of people know about Gabby, know about Gabby Bows. Yeah. But anyway, um, she started her business around the same time we did. But she makes the um, barrette that does not slip out of your hair. She invented a barrette that will not, you know, once you put it in, yep. you, a baby girl will have it in her hair until you take it out. She's not going to lose it at school. <laughs> and then we've got Natastic Hair Lounge. That's actually where I get my hair braided. They are located right, right in Smyrna. And the thing is that they do differently. Are they all about the health of the hair? So you do not have to worry about getting your edges pulled out. Or having the itches mm. <laughs> after you get done and your hair is not going to be like ravaged after you take your twists out. And um, they're very lightweight. The the braid, the hair that she uses is amazing. And mm-hmm. she's been braiding my hair since we moved to here. So that's about six years. Uh, Symphony Chips, Dondre Henderson. 
the chips. best seasoned potato chips that you've ever had in your life that yep. you didn't know that black people were making chips that were not wrap snacks. Is it red? Is it? <laughs> yes, those are wrap snacks. <laughs> so, um, but these are gourmet potato chips. He has two flavors right now, original and smoked. And they're not the type that you, they're not the type of sh- chips you eat with a Subway. It's the type of chips that you eat with a gourmet hammer. You got, these are step them up chips. Yep. Um, Divine Ooh. Personal Chef. She was here too. You got to watch her podcast. Yeah. She has saved the life. She has saved my life on a regular basis. When the business picked up and we were, Doesn't you know, any time we didn't have the time to have something um, homemade Ooh. in the Gosh. refrigerator and running through a drive through was not going to be the answer for five boys, not five boys, is, five people, three children, is, she, three boys. She's getting, she's getting busy. So, yeah. right. You need to hop on that train, on that train while we, but we get um, three dinner meals every two weeks from her and it's literally a lifesaver because right. you look up at the you know i'm leaving the office at 6 30 he's leaving the office at 5 30 to go round up and pick up children and it's like oh right. <laughs> chef diane has saved us again there's something <laughs> in the fridge um little leaders we met them at um essence marketplace he does uh Throw, not throwback, but they're, they're like caricature um, um, T-shirts. Black hi- people in Black history, right? Um, like Muhammad Ali, right? Frederick Malcolm Douglass, X, Frederick Douglass, yes. Um, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman. They're, they're really, really, they're really cute. Really, cute, really yeah. cute, not cheesy, right? Um, uh, so if you need a gift for your little one or your big one, because you have, yeah, you I have, have um, there was uh, Malcolm X is what you had. I have Malcolm X and the Boss Man one. Yeah, we got Grace and Colleague. Colin Kaepernick and Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass, yep. yes. Um, Grace Alea, slap cap. Now, there's many women that know as soon as I say slap cap, they know what it is. It's a satin line turbans. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still waiting on mine. It's coming. Emmanuel. <laughs> She's one of my bucket list people that I've been wanting to meet forever, but I, so I, um, I um, hopefully have a autographed turban on its way from Miss Grace, but I need to meet her in person. Yep. Okay, Rapparoo, this is PJ McGuire. She has created or invented a cape slash um, head wrap. So if you, it's just, it's real simple. We sell it on our website, but it's it's just the perfect cape for, you know, when you're doing your hair, or doing your makeup, that nothing is dripping on you or anything like that. It protects your clothing. And it protects your clothing, and it's, it's nice and compact. Um, RCIE, you talk about RCIE. Because I've been rambling. You go. <laughs> RCIE is uh, the uh, uh, Russell Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship uh, based here in Atlanta. And it is um, um, being created to be an incubator for um, um, black small black business yeah. entrepreneurs um, for all fields, really, from technology all the way into uh, the food food uh, business, food industry and, and manufacturing. And so it's uh, a phenomenal resource that's trying to mimic what's happening in Silicon Valley, but to have it here in the Southeast um, on the East Coast of the United States. And it is exploding. Um, and the CEO, Jay Bailey, our boy, is is just doing phenomenal work. And Which he uh, was here on a podcast, too. He was here on the podcast as well. So if you are not familiar with RCIE, you can easily Definitely get familiar with get them, familiar especially with it, if you're a small business. Because it's, it's making moves. And it's RCIE.org. And then last and not least is... Um, Temple Group. Uh, Temple Group is uh, a uh, a consult a, a, a business, business coaching coaching uh, consulting firm. Mm-hmm. Um, Doctor Douglas Shippy yep. Shipley, not Shippy <laughs> Shipley. Doctor Douglas Shipley. Yep. He has been. Um, he's lived about seventeen lives. Yeah, Phenomenal. all the way from. Yeah, he, he he's he he has a good level of expertise in in business and can help you. Um, Outside looking in, just yeah. And, and have an extra, extra eye, an extra voice that helps you see holistically how you're navigating through business. Yeah, he's our business coach. He's been our coach for the past two years yeah. and has helped us. Tremendously. Woo! See the forest and the trees. Right. So you, we've read to you the list of 29, so you have plenty of opportunity to go and support. Uh, and tell them Puff Cup sent you. 
Yeah, tell them. You're not going to get an extra discount, but at least, <laughs> at least tell them. Pop right. Up. <laughs> 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 that's, that's not a promo code <laughs> <laughs> but but in, in all honesty you know we we want you all to to take advantage of the challenge and understand that um it's it's a serious challenge that that we need to increase from that six hours um within our community and increase it let's let's strive to make it a day make it two days you know make it five yeah, the days the only way it's going to happen is if you put your money back into the black business yep. black community black businesses and in the black community because there, there are very great products out, out there and, and services out there for you to use. And so it's just all about changing your thought process and, and your buying habits. And so, but we appreciate you as always, as we end out this, this great podcast and, and talking to you about our Black History Challenge program from uh, thepuffcuff.com. You can find that information on our website again at the thepuffcuff.com or go to our blog. Once you get to the website, scroll down to the bottom, hit under um, about, about us. About us is the first Hit the blog. Thing. Yes. And you'll you'll go right to, uh, to the blog itself and see everything that we talked about on today. And so... Yeah. The name of the blog is How You Can Change the Future of the Black Dollar Right Now with Joe Pocketbook. Right now. Right now. So we are going to say thank you again, yep. and um, we're going to see you next time. And so as we always say in parting, take care. Be blessed. And be a blessing. See ya. With $100. <laughs>